Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I'm going to teach you this fun, nifty craft and a different way to approach a canvas with this tree. And this is actually a housewarming gift from my friend Kyle, who just remodeled his new home. And I just had to make this tree for him because I think he likes trees. So, <laughs> and plus it's a great idea for housewarming gifts. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a canvas. I have a 16 by 20 canvas. You're going to need a pencil. And then for cutting out the canvas, you're gonna want an X-Acto knife or a razor, but just be super careful. But I don't think scissors would really work in this situation. And you're going to need paint and some paint supplies, colors of your choice. So the first thing you want, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to draw on the back of your canvas not on the front but the back because it's just going to be easier that way so i went ahead and i drew out a tree just a typical tree i didn't get too crazy with the branches because i knew that in the end i was going to have to cut all of these out if you're feeling ambitious and you want to draw a ton of branches then go for it but just make sure keep in mind that you're going to have to cut all of these out later and i didn't I did not include leaves on my branches just because that would have been horrible to cut out. But I was just trying to be really sparse with my branches just because I didn't want to completely ruin the canvas if I cut one piece of the branch off and the rest of it goes tumbling down by accident. So here comes the tedious part. You're going to have to be extremely patient with this and just take your time because if you do cut off a branch, then the whole thing, like if you cut a branch from the top that's connected to the front of the canvas, then the whole thing could just be ruined or you could try to tape it. I don't know. I just was, I was really super slow on this just because I did not want that possibility to happen. I didn't want to cut a branch too thin or it be it not be willing to stay up on its own. So you just have to be super careful and you have to be super patient and just take your time and be careful of your fingers. I did stab myself a couple times with my X-Acto knife, but I mean, if I didn't stab myself with my X-Acto knife, it wouldn't be a craft for me that involves an X-Acto knife. <laughs> but yes, be very, very, very careful and be very, very patient. Another thing to keep in mind, don't don't worry that the canvas seems really flimsy when you cut it out because the um, the canvas is built to suck in the paint and it makes it stronger. So as soon as you put paint on your tree and the limbs of your tree, it'll be a lot more sturdier and it'll be stronger just because it looks really flimsy right now, but just, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't, don't freak out. The paint's going to help the canvas. <laughs> and here it is. This is what it looks like from the front. last step you want to go ahead and do well it's not the last step but it's the step we've all been waiting for is to paint the tree so I went ahead and picked an aqua blue and a, color, a couple of other colors of blue and just mixed them in together just because I wanted it to look icy looking and plus Kyle's favorite color is blue so I kept this in mind and I just really I love the way that the tree was mixing well with these paints and it once you put paint on the tree and the limbs it just pops and it looks so cool it's like stained glass but it's not when you're painting make sure that you get the top of your limbs and branches just because if this um if this actual tree is being it, since you can see on the back side of it you want to make sure you just get all the white places like for this black i had to paint on the inside of the frame as well because you can see the inside so i had to put black all around the frame and the inside of the wooden frame and i took a little bit of silver paint I watered it down and then I went around and I added the silver paint on the branches and all over the frame just to give it, I don't know, a little mystical touch. Just, it, once again, it's icy. <laughs> And 
And here we go. So if you have any friends that are moving into a new house or if it's someone's birthday's coming up or you just want to make this for fun in your own home, this is such an interesting craft to do. I would have never thought to like this is from Pinterest, but I would have never thought that somebody would actually go on the back of a canvas, draw on it and then cut it out and make this tree. It was a lot of fun and it's it looks so cool and it looks really nice on white walls and my wall is yellow but it's just a lot of fun so i really recommend that you guys give this a try and have fun with it and i hope you guys have a wonderful day bye